Ay. <laughs> but yeah. Oh man. So have you played the new patch much? I have, man. It's just oh my god, LA LA sevens everywhere. Yep. Is, that's like, the literally. new, the new, the new favorite playing. <laughs> yes, it it really is. Um, it out basically it out climb. It's the best out. It's the it's got the best climb rate in the game. Mm -hmm. It's got the best turn rate in the game, for a prop plane. It has the uh, and it also has the best flat line speed in the game. So, you know, how are you supposed to counter this plane? Fuck knows, basically. Um, <laughs> you know, I I'd say I'm a pretty good player. Even I can't kill them. Well, yeah. which one? That, which which aisle? The that's, uh, that's the uh, the See, just one? all all of them. All oh, the uh, LAs. Oh, have you also figured out how to turn off the fucking fly-by plane sounds that I hear all the time when in the so-called not hangar anymore? Like I hear like, mm -hmm. well, like seriously, that's annoying as fuck. But uh, I need to check this plane out, the new OP plane, man. So, uh, is it the LA Seven? You said. Oh, the LA, I think the IOs. Ronin. Was it the LA7? Uh, it's the LA7B. The B it's one. It's all the LA7s. Well, basically, all the, okay. they're horse shit. Well. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's just like ri ri ridiculous. Wow. Now I just want to fly them because you said this. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, these sounds like a plane I would like. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they did lower the tier of the LA five FN, right? Exactly. So every single <laughs> game you go into, you will be going against these fucking things. <laughs> They're fucking aliens. They are <laughs> alien. I swear to fuck. Um, seriously, man. Like you'll see my YouTube. Uh, my YouTube video, I'm fucking raging. I'm just like, what is this horse shit? You know, what the fuck? Set it on fire, fucking put it over the fence. That is what needs to be done. You know, <laughs> it's just our fucking ridiculous. And then you got these our fucks who go, oh, Ronan, the um, the flying model is historically fucking kill yourself. Just kill yourself <laughs> now. Because okay? it's not because it's not correct. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what is the best one? I've seen it, right? <laughs> LA5 has now got its flight model. Fucking kill yourself too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I'm it's raging hilarious. here. Yeah, this is hilarious stuff, man. Oh, it's funny. Um... You know, Russian bias, my fucking arse, you know, like, let's not, you know, make it obvious here, Gajan, you know, let's just, uh, you kind of like, orientate 1.3 around fucking Russia, you know, Russian has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 new fucking planes. <laughs> yeah, what has the... all, all the other nations got? Fuck all. Yeah, what the fuck Nothing. happened to my freaking Thunderbolt and Mustang that I was looking forward to, the two new ones, damn it. Exactly. Is is it true that what what I read on forum on a status update that um, that the um, that they are pushed forward like three months? What really? Yeah, I don't know. It was someone replied to my. I made a status update where I was like, okay, dinner time, stream later. Uh, but and P.S. What the freaking hell happened to my new Thunderbolt and new Mustang that I was looking forward to? And someone said, oh, they're being pushed forward three months. Well, that's interesting. But I hope that's... I did ask for, like, a source, but I didn't get a source, so... Um, they're not in the patch, though, which makes me like, hmm... I really wanted no. it. I really wanted bro. it. Bro, uh, bro, it's not Russian. That's the thing, you know? It's not <laughs> supposed to be in the patch if it's not fucking Russian. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I could strangle a kitten at this point. Like, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, I, I see you too, Skech1080 in chat, who's like, 
No, bro, illegal. I hope you meant no, low. Are you in a team speak? We're in a raid call. There's a link down below, mate. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I did, did I put YOLO somewhere? Maybe I did. <laughs> Echoing through you pops a little bit or something. Oh, my, uh, it's not. Right. I don't know, um, but yeah, I I'm, I want to go through. I like now that I have Ronin in a rage mode here. I want to go through a little bit of the patch. Oh, no, hold on, let me uh, put my state. Let, put, put, <laughs> let me put a status update here. <laughs> so what? What premium plan are you going for? Me? Yeah, the tier one. Oh, I don't I don't really care. That's the thing cuz like if I now I'm like tier 7 the lowest with Japanese, I think, or tier 6 with the Soviets. It's not like it's that important. Um I feel that if you are going for we're going to get that in patch notes though, but if you are going to go for one of the uh first matches and get the free premium tier 1 plane Just, i would actually do that with the, the nation i have not ranked up yet so if you're like tier 0 1 2 with the nation then get that premium and use that to gain some you know better rewards and stuff for that nation so you tear up a little bit quicker early on that's what i would have done but yeah i guess a lot of people go for the chaika just because people love it I want the buffalo. I like the buffalo. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I I, I don't want to say UFO, but I I've heard buffalo and UFO mentioned in the same sentence. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <UFO. laughs> okay. 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 Really <laughs> the, the UFO that rhymes a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's look at this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> But yes, squadrons are in-game integration of player designed for joint combat participation in tournaments and viewing of squadron statistics. The squadrons are designed to unite players under the same tag and title. Members of a squadron are brothers in arms who fight side by side. Together they share the bitterness of defeat and glory of victory. It doesn't really say much, but... Well, let me get, let me get started there, right? Let and, me get and, started and there. Let's not, let's, not, let's not get into the misspelling of this update. <laughs> oh, the, the Russian, I mean, like, they have no time for spelling. One thing that has really, really fucking annoyed me, right, is like, okay, they're like, okay, guys, you can make yourself a clan or a community within War Thunder, right? Mm -hmm. But one thing that has really grinded my testicles is that you got to pay 2,500 fucking eagles. I, I've, di I've been um, going at this, like, a f several times on my stream since, uh, since uh, that came out. Um, and my argument has been that, you know, uh, I, I I actually believe the only reason they actually um, put that price tag on, and I'm just, I might be misinformed, I'm just doing, taking this information from other people who has played World of Tanks, is for the reason I heard that in World of Tanks uh, they did like the same thing, they actually charged you to make a clan. But, um, the, the, the dumb idea about this is that, like, I mean, at least I would think that someone who would think a little bit more, I don't know, sanely, uh, would be thinking that, like, every other game that has done really well for a long period of time does so because of, you know, players sticking with the game for a long period of time. And what, exactly. what, what creates that is, like, I've stuck, like, three years with a slowly dying online MMO football game uh, just because I actually love the people I play with uh, in the teams I play play and it's the same as clans like you know if you get together a bunch like you know and especially with free to play games where you have let's say kids like y younger crowd of people uh, who, who just like seem to be looking for free to play games and they want to make a clan but you know they can't get their mom and dad to pay like you know they they will eventually lose interest because uh, they can take part in that in the same way so I think that they would actually somehow make more money in the long run if it were free because then you would have so many more players just creating clans sticking with the game for a longer period of time because uh, just a bigger player base makes those spending money on the game stay longer with the game because they can easier get games and find people to play against and stuff like that 
Or they should have made the price so ridiculously low, like 300 uh, gold, uh, but not not 2,500. It's ridiculous high. Price. Oh yeah, I mean, what's what's that? I mean, that is 14 euros to create a clan. I mean, I understand that this game is a company, and some people are like, well, Ronan, why do people fly D13s? Or like, for instance, this is a good one. Yeah, they say Gaijin, um They don't. Fix the D13. Okay, Gaijin is a free-to-play game. People forget this. They really do forget this. I have no... Uh, uh, it's beyond me how people can't comprehend a free-to-play game um, on where it needs to earn money. The D13 was... I'd love to see the statistics on how much money they actually made. I mean, that that would have been absolutely phenomenal. The amount of D13 balance in this game where you can get from rank 0, you can get into rank 14 playing. is absolutely crazy but kind of pushing it towards squadrons paying 14 euros to basically get a squadron okay it can make you play the game for longer but then it's kind of forcing clans to kind of be like well we don't people we don't want people to steal our clan tag and then mm. it's kind of forcing them into putting money into the game which is kind of a bad step in my opinion but then again it swings around about it's a, it, it is just how you look at it yeah, that is the but main I mean, factor. I mean, the worst thing that happens is that someone steals a clan's name, um, and maybe the tag, because tags might more often uh, be uh, be taken because they might be similar. It's easy for a clan to have like TGF or whatever, because you know several people thought of a name that had that prefix or whatever, and. Um, uh, I, I can see that being a slight problem, but really, I mean, if we really think about it, it's not like. It's not like a big clan of people playing together is going to be like, Oh my god, we can't have that tag, we just got to have to add something to it. Or, oh my god, the, the name was taken, shit, now we have to add, like, the best aces instead of the uh, best aces. Like, you know, it's not like... Uh, it, it's not the, that big of a deal, I think, in the long run, um, the, the name stealing. Um, to be honest, like, the, the health of the game for the longest uh, of period of time would be to have it free. Uh, in my opinion. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, for instance, like, um, to play this game for free is insanely hard. Like, a person who is really good at the game, like, this is a game where if you're really good at the game... Hold on, I need to sneeze, actually. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yes, push to talk. Cool. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, this game is so hard to play for free. Um... You said it's, it's hard? Base, it's very hard to play for free. It is insanely hard. You need to basically have premium to play this game. And um, what I mean by that is, if you're bad at the game, you're not going to progress very much. Whereas if you're good at the game, you're going to progress very, very well. Um, mm. I do like that type of mentality um, for, for, a, for a free-to-play game, but it's kind of swings and roundabouts, whereas, for instance, the good player will get all the stuff straight away, and the shit player will be at the starting line for like the next two months with the shittest planes. And then I'll push them away from the uh, from the game. But then I say to them, you know, people on 1.7 were like, okay, Ronan, the economy was fine, the economy is shit now. Well, in my opinion, I think the economy is absolutely fine. Um, I like to have a game where you grind. Uh, basically, if you if pe people think this game is so grind intensive, I would fucking love for them to play a Korean game. They wouldn't have a fucking idea what hit them when it comes to grinding. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, it is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I mean, it's... even even World of Warcraft was uh, like a grind. So for those who played that hardcore, I mean, they st I, I mean, they still had to do the raids over and over and over to, to just get that, you know, good drop. Yeah, right? one good item. Gear. Yeah, I mean, that's a like one way off a grind as well. So, um, oh, just just that in this game, you don't you don't you don't go into a game facing off a big huge boss every game. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You, um, um, yeah. But like, what I was going to say is, for instance, if if we, okay, let's uh, compare <laughs> games here. I mean, it's a bad thing to do, mm -hmm. but if you are going to compare games, I'm going to, I play Meg Warrior Online. It's a very nice game. It's a free-to-play game, um, like, like War Thunder. But the thing is, Meg Warrior, 
you can actually play the game 100% free. You can actually earn money pretty effectively and you can actually buy your mechs and upgrade them and actually play them to the full, deten full potential. Yeah. Now in, in War Thunder, for you to get a jet, it would take you ridiculously long. Even with premium, I mean with me, I get an average of 2-3 to three kills depending on games. And it still takes an insane amount of time to grind. I mean, for instance, the only reason why I got Germany to rank 20 so quick was because of my D13. Yeah. Because of the insane experience gain. And on top of that, I had all that money because I've got an insane income when it comes to the D13. But, ex I mean, if we, if we just put that aside the, 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 um, the claims of that plane being OP, which, which I will agree on, but I'm just saying, like, if we put that aside, though, that the game is not balanced uh, by far yet. Um, I mean, obviously, I think buying a premium plane uh, to get uh, like a quicker experience boost is for me totally fine. That that should be the incentive to actually buy those planes, except maybe wanting to fly them. But just the fact to like, oh yeah, um, that is the reason you buy that, so you actually gain levels quicker. A little bit like I played a lot of League of Legends, like. In my opinion, there's no pay to win in that game because oh, definitely not. Of, of, because of the reason like the only thing you really do until you can play ranked is to get to th rank 30. And sure, you th that you can get a lot quicker there by buying the XP boost. And I mean, so they got. I mean, it's a free game. You get it for free. Here you go, play for free. Uh, they gotta make money somehow. They're selling skins. You can, and obviously you can buy champions, and you can still buy the champions for uh, the in-game currency that you make. Uh, I, I actually think that is one of the most successful and most perfect made models uh, for a free to play oh, game. And There's I am a little like bit shocked. Wars. I am a little bit shocked that. Uh, uh, yeah, my Guild Wars account got got hacked. But, <laughs> but I am a bit. I am a bit uh, shocked about. Um, the fact that they actually don't sell the skins for the planes in this game. I was like, oh, I unlock them and I get them? Really? <laughs> for free? I, I was like, huh. You know, coming from League of Legends, I was super happy about that, but still was like, yeah. you know, they could actually make, I mean, they could just make them super cheap and, you know, after a while people would like to get a skin or something, right? So, um, yeah, I well, don't know. Well, I mean, that, that, that's it. I mean, for instance, um, the free-to-play model of League of Legends and Guild Wars 2 were absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, of course, a free-to-play game needs to make money, but there's a good way of going about it, and there's a shit way about going about it. You know, for instance, like putting in pay-to-win items. Uh, for instance, Blacklight Retribution. This would be a very good example. <laughs> that, has, that has gone pay-to-win. It was a very good game for free to play. You uh, could basically rent games if you uh, basically earn enough money um, within the game. You could rent the you could rent the weapon for a couple of days, but now you've actually got to pay money to actually rent it. So now theoretically, it's gone from a free to play, very friendly model to an absolute pay to win, which is utterly bullshit. Now the Fogger Wolf D13, it is a pretty it's a pretty um, awkward situation to uh, tread upon. The reason being is because people think that it is a pay-to-win uh, plane. Now, I fly the D13 a lot, and I can honestly say the D13 is in no way overpowered. It performs how it should, in my opinion. It's mm -hmm. a Fokker Wolf. It, can't, it cannot turn fight for shit. No, no. It I, 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 tr I like turn fighting. I hate that plane. It fucking blows, man. It's the worst plane for me to fly ever. <laughs> I mean, the, the, just the thing that is... Making the D13 of what it is is, Gaijin need to get their ass into gear and actually, uh, you know, give the American flight models. For instance, the P51 is a bag of shit. Still, right? yeah, I heard that. It's still a bag of shit. We're gonna try um, that in the game later, guys. It, it, you know, it's a very, it's very good for uh, for a certain amount of time. It's, it, it just bleeds energy so quick. Mm. That's the that's the problem with it. It's got a shit climb rate as well, where it can't actually climb. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I see. There's a lot of interest in this uh, in this stream today, guys. Awesome. Uh, if you're not a follower, please follow. At 200 followers, we're we're doing some sort of uh, giveaway. Uh, I'm not expe expecting to reach 200 tonight, but if I do, I'm gonna have to give something away. Probably my trousers or something. But 
I'll sign them. Uh, but yeah, definitely we're giving away something, like a game or something, or gold or whatever. But yeah, we're doing a giveaway at 200, and uh, so if you haven't followed, follow. We stream a lot of War Thunder. And now we're discussing the patch uh, with Ronin here, who is a veteran player, and I'm a noob. Alright, um... So yeah, the free-to-play model. We, yeah, there's, you can you can pretty much go on about that forever and ever. Uh, oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I I think I, to 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 just end that topic. I think the free-to-play model in War Thunder is still very very good. One of the best three I've seen so far. Uh, except that there's still a lot of unbalance and it is hard to balance a game like this, especially economy-wise. Um, and uh, you know, you just gotta hope that you know they they keep the game in a space where even the let's say average players can at least in a certain amount of time make enough lines to feel that they are progressing without having to spend too much money. Uh, yet they gotta make money. Uh, if you're if you're not in good enough with the game, you know uh, you do have the option of spending money to get silver and buying those planes at the higher tiers. Um, uh, I, I do, without having been to the higher tiers too much yet, I do think that some planes might need a mm, l less expensive repair cost, and that's pretty much what I think. I don't, I don't think the prices on the planes are too expensive right now, in my opinion. I do sit here and be like, I have put in money uh, to buy silver uh, twice, and, I, and um, it's more been so I have a buffer, like I want to be able to buy something and then when I'm playing that plane or on other planes, I gain back what I just spent. That's how I work. Uh, so I actually haven't bought silver to just spend them instantly. Um, yeah. I, I don't well, work like that. So. I mean, that's, that's the thing. I mean, like, where you'll say okay, I want cheaper repair costs. From my point of view, I'd be like, well, no. I mean, personally, I think the repair costs are fine for planes. I fly, I fly the Meteor F4. Mm -hmm. The Meteor F4 has got 110k repair cost. If you feel that you're not confident within that plane, don't fly it. It's simple as that, okay? You're basically, you're, you know, that repair, you're basically flying a very, very good plane. For instance, the K4. The K4 is a monster. BF one nine K four has a repair bill of around about sixty k. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives you the incentive of not to lose it. It gives you a thrill. It kind of induces a bit of adrenaline within the game. We're talking historical uh, battle repair costs, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. There are cheaper um, in arcade. Oh, of course. I mean, they're insanely cheaper yeah. in arcade. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, I I, I fly the uh, the K four. I fly the ME two six two, and I fly the Meteor F four in historical. Yeah. And uh, I, I I lose them, but when I lose them, that gives me the incentive of okay, what have I done wrong, and how do I and how do I improve my current situation? Because you're getting such an advantage in in the plane that you get. I mean, for instance, the MiG-15 is like 115k repair bill, but it's like one of the best planes in the game. I mean, if you gave that plane like a 60k repair bill, it's you're going to see that plane spammed. Mm -hmm. You know, people are just going to you're going to see noobs, uh, basically in MiG 15s and it's it's gonna be chaos. Our chaos. Yeah. So um, they they're saying but Ronin can afford it because he's flying a premium plane. But uh <laughs> that, well, that's, that, the that's, thing. that's not the point though, in my opinion. I don't I don't always fly a premium plane. Um yeah. if you look at my stats, I basically I fly my D thirteen a lot, okay? My second plane is a BF one nine F four. Now I can I can basically uh, I mean I didn't buy my D13 until I was level 14 in in Germany. But hey, and basically you know I was rank 15 in Russia before I even started Germany. You know so I could still afford those planes mm -hmm. regardless of not being a premium. Yeah, uh, I agree with Cameron. He says K Ki 200 though is no way the best jet in the game yet has the most expensive repair cost. And th I can agree that they they might there's some balancing work that might have to be done there obviously but you know it's always gonna be hard for the developer to be like this is the best plane and we've shown that by making it the most expensive plane to repair it's it's obviously th that's a very sensitive balancing point but um, ab about the uh, I, I want to reply to the Ronin can afford it because he's flying a premium plane hey anyone can fly a premium plane if they buy one and uh, in my opinion most premium planes that I've looked at except yeah, I have quite a few now because they're, they're some of them are very fun to fly because they're they are fun planes and th I can get them to fly them before I get to the same model in the tech tree. Also, 
I, I view them a little bit as a XP and money maker way. Like that's what I that's what I see. Like okay, I put in some money here. I buy a plane, which give me better, uh, reward uh, in both money and XP. So and mo and to me, it's mostly XP. I I, pr I tr fly when I pick a premium plane. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing that just because I want to level up quicker. That's that's actually uh, usually my decision. I there are some planes like the Thunderbolt in the American Tech Tree is my like one of the most fun planes I've had with. But on the same Tech Tree though, I can go play the Spitfire which I bought um, the the tier 11 one there, um, and it's a premium and it's also very fun to fly. Not as fun as the Thunderbolt, but it gives me a lot more XP. So yeah, you know that that does make me want to fly that, and I'm and I'm flying that more and more and more now because I want to get to tier 13 so I can fly the non-premium Mustang, which is an American Tech tr Tree at yeah. tier 13, because that's like my goal right now is to get to that plane because I really want it, you know. And and I think that's a good thing that I just can't buy myself there. Yeah, I can convert XP with gold, but I think that is one of the most stupid ways to use your money in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it is to, to, to a degree. I mean, it's not too bad if you do it lower tier, but like to get from fifteen to twenty. Oh my goodness! It I, costs a lot. It costs a lot, yeah. But but you know, I the the few times I've done it is when I'm like, oh god, I want that plane on next tier. I'm like, I'm just a few k XP away from it. Okay, I'll spend fifty gold. Plunk. You know, like to just get over the edge, uh, to get into that tier. Um, that's how I how I have used that feature. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, yeah. like, for instance, right, this guy on my YouTube video, he goes, I'm loving 1.3, but the USSR are really underpowered and don't climb well or turn well. I can't kill anything. It needs a buff. Wait, kill wait, he yourself. said USSR. Kill yourself. Oh, USSR, <laughs> Russian. He's a troll. He's a dirty troll. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, shall we start on the LA 7 plague? I mean, like. But hey, okay. Uh, Boerm uh, says my point. His point is that he can, uh, you can't fly the D12 because it's too expensive, and I should not be forced to buy a premium plane just to be able to have fun with it. Because yeah, the D12, D13, pretty much the same. I mean, it's the same model series. Uh, it's it's both Ardoras. Uh, I haven't let let me just switch to the game real quick to to because I haven't seen the difference because I haven't looked at it because I'm not there yet. Um, mm. And I also don't like those models, but. Let's see, sixty thousand for the D12, and the Dora is eleven thousand repair. That is a bit. Fuck you. <laughs> and I the mean, D12 handles. Uh, the D12 doesn't handle as good as the D13 either. You think the D12 handles better? No, D12 handles worse than the oh, D13. Oh, worse. Okay, so but the D12 is more expensive. Like it's like six times as expensive to repair. Hmm. Just saying. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Maybe yeah. they should make the. I I agree there. I think something is wrong there by just looking at these two models without even knowing how the D12 flies. But yeah, they should definitely not be that different. Cause I've read about the Dora on uh, on Wikipedia uh, quite a lot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, historically, they sh there. they should be very similar. Uh, that's just weird. That is weird. And to, and to be honest, I think it is to give you an incentive to buy the premium. But it shouldn't be that big. They should have. It should be. I mean, if they want to keep the D12 at 60,000 and they want to keep an incentive on the D13, it should be like 40k, in my opinion, to repair it. It should still cost you. Exactly. For instance, here, right? Project 9, he, he says, how's it going, Project? He goes, one of the better premium money makers is only the German Wellington, and yet it only costs around 6 euros. You know, which you know, would that give you? What did you, you say? Incentive? Which cost six euros? The the, the jelly welly. The, oh the yeah, monitor. yeah, the money maker. <laughs> you know, like would you know personally, if you're struggling from the game, I know it's I know that's a bit of incentive to buy that plane, but six euros isn't. You know, it's nowhere. It's, it's not pricey. It's you know, it's pretty cheap, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, the amount mm -hmm. of money you can make for that. But then again, if you don't want to fly the Jelly Welly, it is a boring plane to fly. Honestly, seriously, it is. You can fly. You, all you can do is you can fly the Donier Two Seventeen J One, which has eight fifty kilogram bombs, and I can make hundred and forty k lions with that plane in every game. Yeah. But not everyone it's is as good as you easy. as well, though. Just... Well, no, it's it's not. It that was. That but it's was still easy. Air, 
it, all you've got to do is kill eight um, eight heavy tanks and get one air target kill, and you've made 120k. Mm. It's as easy as that. I did up just for the fun of it. The uh, fun of it the other night. I did upgrade because um, I've never upgraded any crew to Ace, but the crew that I have the premium Wellington on, <laughs> I just. Let's see what it is like to have an ace crew. Like, I was just curious to what it, whatever it did, like see the bonuses and stuff. So I, I made that crew ace, uh, maxed the gunners and everything. And uh, I flew a game. I, I actually was able to get out, drop my bombs, get back, reload, get out. And I at the end of that game, my gunners, without me controlling them, had over 30 hits uh, on oh, other yeah. planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't get any... Kill though, which sucked, but uh, I got 30 hits and I killed quite a lot. I, I make quite a lot of money on that run. Uh, mm. Most of them are Kitty Hawks and a bow fighter. Yeah, it was a lot of Kitty Hawks. Yeah, it was against Pops, was in the game against me. He didn't kill me either. He wasn't a bow fighter. <laughs> uh, hey, I was showing you my. I was, I was leaving you. You were being nice, okay, okay. Yeah, I was being nice. <laughs> But um, one thing that has is grinding in my balls as well mm -hmm. is um, Arcade has got new maps, whereas yes! historic, Historical has got no maps whatsoever. Mm. Well, know, I was happy work. when I did fly the boomerang with uh, guys. Uh, I was so happy to see Malta for the first time, which people have been talking about. I'm like, oh, Malta, finally I get to see it. I'm just tier 10 in this country now, but okay. Uh, but I flew a lower tier plane. Um, I hear it's lower tier. Uh, map, but yeah, uh, anti Rob says uh, HP got new maps. We will let's let's go through the uh, yeah, patch notes more two, now. One, one they map. did. For let, Japan let, and Russia. Yeah, J Japs did get one more, I think. Uh, did we get Iwo Jima yet? Uh, for the no, 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 no. We're, we're, we'll get there. We actually have just been talking about so much cool shit that I, I actually do want to go through the patch notes. And I'll okay, squadrons, whatever. Uh, we don't know much more about that yet in 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 practice because we haven't gotten much practice with it. Uh, oh wait, actually, the maximum number of players in the squad run at the moment is 128. So a clan can have 128 members. That sucks, by the way. Yeah. Seriously, 128? Like CY6, for instance, uh, check your six. They have over 300 um, players. Like my, I, I'm gonna make a clan, and it's gonna be like an open public, just for the fucking fun clan. Where, again, anyone who wants to be very serious and go compete can do that with those within the clan who wants to do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna make like this, like hey, you know, have fun, Friendly just clan. join, yeah, like public open sh thing, more or less. Like obviously, if you're an asshole, you're not, you're gonna be kicked. But you know, that that could make 128 members a hard, like a very low limit, especially for 2,500 golden eagles. But oh well. Oh wait, yeah, so they'll release the squadron package where you can upgrade your clan with for 4,000 golden eagles, you'll get a hundred extra slots. Yeah, exactly, look at that horse shit, man. I'm That's just ridiculous. expecting it, I'm just expecting it, but uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Oh, yeah. You'll never know. YOLO! <laughs> Fucking YOLO. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> uh, integration with Facebook and Twitch TV, I actually did click uh, the freaking integration with Facebook thing. Um, I did. I yeah, honestly I did. Uh, but I, 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 I did make it so it doesn't show up for my friends, though. Because that will... I'm expecting it to spam my friends. But, the the Twitch TV thing, oh, that's cool. I already saw a lot of more streamers with no viewers. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but it, it seems to work for those who want to stream. Um, so how do you, how how do you do it? It I didn't try it out yet myself, but uh, if I just switch back to the game real quick, uh, in the menu you have in uh, oh invite friend shit I need to put that on my freaking page damn it I forgot to do that I was gonna do that before I went live uh, menu no where the fuck was it wait um maybe oh yeah 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 no shit I've lost it I I know I saw it. Game options. Yeah, uh, menu game options, social. And there you have it. Facebook login, uh, you can do. But ding. And you get 10k lions for that. Woohoo. Uh, Twitch TV, you just put in your Twitch TV account name, password. If you want to use sound, which video size you want to use, and it supports 
really small crappy one, seven twenty four eighty, and some other crappy one, and twelve eighty seven twenty. That's that's HD, and then full. What the fuck? Nineteen twenty oh. times a thousand ten eighty eight. The Russian supercomputer. Oh, okay. It's a Russian Russian HD. Russian HD. Yeah. So Russian vodka HD. Yeah. Uh, vodka. They have that. Uh, and and you can sl like you have a slider for video quality, because I saw a guy uh, streaming in the 1920 times 1088, and it did not look better than 720. Uh, pff, so I mean, yeah. To be honest, don't stream in the highest option there, yeah, uh, uh, unless you better. unless unless you have like 10 megabits upload at least like fiber freaking good internet because that will be the problem it will be your upload uh, so do 720 with the uh, I would say mid video quality and see if that works flowing and flawlessly if it does that will be pretty damn good actually um, that is my advice uh, yeah activation oh activation yeah like which hotkey you wanna activate the stream using so you can like activate it at any point in time so that's pretty cool, uh, but I'm not gonna use it because I have my setup here pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna try on a bit. Um, so yeah, uh, could be worth trying though. But I've seen people use it already. It does look to be working all right. Okay, right. new tutorials. Not that freaking exciting unless you want to do those. Play with your friends. Oh yeah, you can invite your friends. Seriously, I need to do that. R so freaking uh, like super duper mega quick. Um, you need to put that, put that on my YouTube channel. I need to, I, to. Yeah, I, mean, I need to put that on my freaking Twitch. <laughs> I was gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that like instantly now, though. Uh, where is. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. There we go. Channel. And uh, edit. And I don't wanna see you. Uh, tip your. Oh. Cat 30 viewer. Hmm? <laughs> viewer. So we have 30 viewers. Oh really? Wow, awesome. Yeah. If you're watching this and you like War Thunder, please a holla holla falla. Yeah, cause I'm gangsta like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget this man, YOLO. <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna... And yeah, I'm gonna... I live on the seventh floor. Once the stream is over, I'm jumping head first. Cause I've said YOLO, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's like I don't have much choice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, let's let's just add a panel here. Uh, add image. Uh... <laughs> oh man. But yeah, at at 200 followers, we're giving away a game on Steam. Uh, I, I I that I've decided a game on Steam. I'll be giving away at uh, 200 followers. So if you haven't followed, please follow. Uh, streaming a lot. Um, I'm gonna stream all night here for at least five, six more hours. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me just oh, do hey. this real quick. Oh, hey, Fu. What's up? Up, Fu. I was just spamming the AFK chat this morning. Like, screen get up before the. I, I, I had I left the computer on as I was at work, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I down came down back and you're like, you have to install the patch! And I was like, I've already done it. <laughs> okay. I have an insider source. He uh, he sent a USB memory a week ago with it. <laughs> okay, maybe not. May may maybe not. Maybe he didn't. Uh, but maybe well, he did should. He never call you back? He never or called me that, back. <laughs> no, PM, PM, no, PM, PM you. About oh no! I have, I have, well, no, I haven't turned it on. Never mind. No, uh, I need to get a cool banner though. Google uh, War Thunder <coughs> banner, right? Like there needs to be like a <laughs> War Thunder World of Planes. No, that's not it. Let's just get like War Thunder. War, um, you see the one in the forum is like um, is sh World Tank never again? Oh no! I know. Yes, I know, I know which one. Just... Yeah. That, that's just ridiculous. Why would you put this? Why would you make a signature saying never again? I mean, seriously. <laughs> it's fucking retarded. Never again? Wait, what? Yeah, basically they play World of Tanks and they've quit World of Tanks. And so uh, they... basically they got a signature going, never again. I'm just like, well, fucking, we don't want to know that you don't like World of Tanks, you know? Don't fucking <laughs> spam me that shite. <laughs> that is quite funny, though. Never again. Like, what? 
the oh well, I'll go with this picture I think this will probably work pretty nicely uh, hey, Carnex uh, what are you what are you on about uh, regarding have you done any testing on the gondola what's the gondola oh, okay. or the G2 But uh, what's on? What's next on the agenda? Uh, the agenda is that I just get this shit up, which I suck at. <clears throat> Hold on a second. I'm done like in a second here. Panel title. Um. Uh, want to play? Uh, yeah, Karnex, that's interesting. Um, basically, on the G6 and K4 and the G10, uh, of course, you can actually change the armament, or you can actually have uh, one thirty millimeter. For and actually take off the, uh, the gun pods on the G6. However, when you uh, take the gun pods off on the G6, there isn't any major noticeable difference. So even though you change or shred the weight, quote unquote, um, you will not be making your G6 go any faster. However, I do think this is really, really bad because the G6 is insanely slow. It's a big target. It's very easy to shoot down because it bleeds insane amount of energy. It's got shit re energy retention. So they need to let you know, give it the option to let it go a little bit faster with taking on the gun pods. There's no, there's no noticeable difference on any of the planes for the G10, G6, and K4. I test the G10 today um, for the 30 millimeter. It's very, very nice. It can basically, you can strafe people in uh, one pass with the 30mm, and it's got the effective dogfight capability of three to four dogfights, depending how good you are at shooting. So it's pretty good. Cool. Okay, guys, if you update the uh, channel page, uh, you should now uh, have a want to play War Thunder link below. It seems to be below the tip jar for me. I don't know where it's for you. And if you click that, if you haven't, if you haven't installed Played Worth on yet, if you click that, uh, it will give you 50 gold currency. It's the premium currency inside the game, which you can get premium planes, uh, silver money. Uh, you can pretty much use it to a lot of things. Um, and you'll get 50 of that for for free if you use that link and register and start playing the game. And it will help support this channel. So. You know, YOLO. I'm gonna use YOLO the whole night. Done. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a challenge. How many times can you say YOLO in one night? You said it like six times today. Actually, <laughs> spend it on crew skills is the best tip advice ever I've seen, man. That is awesome. That, that is actually good advice, in my opinion. Spend it on crew skills. Get those G Force tolerance. You get up. like 500. You get like 500 crew skills out of that. Yeah, definitely. And that's pretty good. Mm. Okay, let's get back to the the topic at hand. Um, <laughs> the the so-called topic. Okay, uh, I need to open up here. All right. Uh, so next up, play with your friends. Yeah, that's what I just did. If you click that thing down there, uh, you uh, you will get a, a fifty eagles. Um, and then, when you're in the game, you get a link like that, you give it to your friends, and they get 50 golden eagles, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what you get seems to be, you get silver alliance uh, whenever your friend reaches rank 5, uh, you get 100 golden eagles when he reaches rank 10. Uh, to be honest, that is pretty crappy rewards, but it's better than nothing. Um, I guess the, actually the 50,000 silver alliance when your friend reaches rank 5 is like the best reward. Because that can happen pretty quickly, and at that point, I would say 50,000 Silver Alliance is like, hey, fuck yeah, nice, um, in my opinion. All right, uh, new maps, new maps, new maps. Top of the world, arcade battle map inspired by Arctic, dazzling snowy landscapes, and a variety of targets, pillboxes, artillery, armored columns, and ships. You will be engaging the enemy in a dynamic battle over the top of the world. So pretty much a... Uh, unreal map then that is just a cool arcade map I guess uh, the cliff coast arcade battles map inspired by Ireland uh, sharp closely spaced high cliffs is a great place to play cat and mouse you will perform incredible maneuvers that will help throw off the enemy on your six by creating an obstacle course for him to pursue you and then we do have Ronin the uh, historical battle map uh, which no one can pronounce 
in the right mind. Zengzu. Zengzu. Uh, historical Zengzu. historical battles map. Custom battles only at the moment, so it's not in the HP rotation. Uh. So it still sucks. All right. April the 14th, 1942, of the 12th Japanese Army of the Northern Front, holy shit, long names, launched an offensive against Chinese troops of the first military, blah, 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 Taishuan breaking through, blah, blah, mm -hmm. Chinese defense, uh, thus was the beginning of the Beijing, blah, blah, blah. So where's the good part? Um, so, what, uh, so you're facing, like, it's Chinese against... Did I just read that without understanding it? Russia. No wait, Chinese. But it's Russia. So it's Russia, All right? Yeah, I played it on historical. Did you? I in custom, right? Yeah. No, in historical, the rotation. <laughs> it says custom battles only at the moment. It's uh, now it's in the rotation. I, I guess it. Google Translate didn't understand that part. Alright, <laughs> 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 alright, right. new aircrafts. Uh, this is. I, I'm a little bit sad that just didn't include pictures, but, okay, USA gets two new planes, which is tier 3 and 4, I think, or 2 and 3, uh, 2 and 3, I think it is, um, they get two premium planes, w which one, both actually are prototypes, experimental prototypes, but hey, you get, you know, one of them is really expensive, which is the XP, shit, which one is it? <laughs> 50 XP 50, yeah, uh, and it should be because it looks like a turd, so it should definitely be expensive because I don't want to see a lot of them in the game. Uh, though we're gonna fly it, I think I might buy it. <laughs> um, <laughs> USSR, as usually, Soviets get a shitload. Uh, congratulations on the 20 on the what? I don't know, he said something in the left, and I have no idea what he congratulated me on. Maybe the viewers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, thank everyone who, who's watching, this is gonna be a long night of awesome sauce. Uh, I don't even know what the i15 biz is, uh, MiG-3, this would probably better look in game actually, but from what I hear, the... Do you have any comments on the the planes, Ronin? You know, I know people want, wanted you to rage again about the LA planes. <coughs> the LA set, well, the Americans, uh, what was it, the XP-50, XP-55? Uh, not too bad, XP-55 is what, that prop plane that's got uh, the engine on the back. I mean, yeah. personally, I think it's just... Have you tried it? Not... Like, flown it today I've, in historical? I, I, I've tried it. It's not bad. Um, it's just a little bit slow, but if you get somebody in a turn fight, you will fuck them up pretty quick. <laughs> um, the XP-50... Worth huh? the is it worth the three thousand nine hundred no. gold? No, definitely not. <laughs> but do you think it is definitely a price not. to deter people like to deter uh, people from like I don't know they want people to buy it but do you think they put that price tag so we don't see like like whole battles with only that plane? No, the reason why you put uh, my suspicion is the reason why you put that at that price is because it looks cool. I mean, the only reason why people will buy that buy plane it. is because it looks cool. That's okay. all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, the majority of the people playing this game are younger generation. Exactly. And, and they want something to look awesome. Exactly. <laughs> Despite it being absolute horseshit, they will still buy it. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know, there's better planes out there. I mean, for instance, when it comes to historical, people on the Allied are flying planes that just do not do the job correctly. Like, I, I just sit there in my D-13, or I sit there in my LA-7, fucking overpowered piece of shit, and <laughs> I, uh, basically, I'm like, well, why the fuck are you flying that plane, bro? You know, it is, it's horrible. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> um... But regarding the whole MiG free, lag free, the new lag free, the LA seven, the Yak fifteen P, Yak fifteen. Now the Yak fifteen P and the Yak and the Yak and the the normal Yak fifteen. Uh they're like classed as jets, but basically they're very good at turn, but they're slow as shit. Um personally there won't be many people flying them. They have got a severe low uh, ammunition mount, so it's gonna be very, very hard. Whereas you've got the uh was it the the lag, the the new lag? It's a little bit faster than the previous lag. Where's the lag? Oh, it's, it's yeah, I see it, I see it. 
Yeah, it's got a bit more. It's got a little bit more stability to it. It's pretty nice. It's nice. It's a nice plane to fly. The Mig Three is a nice plane to fly. I put a video up on that today of me uh, kicking ass, and it's a very nice plane to fly. It's a bit. It's a bit like. Um, I'm gonna have to get myself the, the MC Two or Two. It is. It's pretty nice. It's very cheap. But the and then but then we'll go on to the LAs, right? <laughs> the LAs now. If you're watching this stream, and if you think that the LA has got its correct flight model, go die. Like, put your head down a toilet, flush it, and just do whatever you need to do. Because, you um, don't need to treat you, you don't need a gun, trust me, you don't need a gun. Um, the fact is, the LA-7B, I mean, the LA-5 isn't as bad, okay? The LA-5 is UFO, but, like, the LA-7s are just fucking what the fuck. I mean, for instance, there is nothing that can compete against these planes whatsoever. And if you think that the LA-7 is, you know, got its correct flight model and it's now balanced, then you know fuck all about game balance, you haven't even flown the plane, <laughs> or you're just a complete noob at the game, or you have hardly any hours in this in, in historical. I mean, this is going for historical. I don't care about arcade, but this is mainly historical. Basically, it's got the best... The LA-7s have got the best climb rate for a prop, They've got the best turn rate for a prop. Uh, that's excluding biplanes, and it's they've got the best flatline speed. How the fuck are you supposed to uh, counterreact that type of plane? The only downside to this plane is it can't dive above 715 kilometers per hour due to it'll break its wings. But even then, it's horseshit. It's just fucking Russian Stalin would push to the max. It needs to be <laughs> set on fire and fucking kicked over the fence, basically. It's utterly bullshit. I mean, I have no idea what Gaijin are doing. Um, they, need, they need a fucking slap around the face, basically. I'm like, they're, they've broke historical. It's to that extent. They have broke historical. Historical's fucked. And, you know, <laughs> people are like, Well, Ronan, what plane are you flying? Well, I'm flying the fucking LA-7B. Why? Well, because if you can't beat them, fucking join them. I mean, you know, it's just... <laughs> It's just but that. hey, hey, I mean... hey! That 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 makes sense, man. That makes sense, man. If the aliens okay. were were to invade the Earth and they offered me to join them, I would not hesitate. Exactly. I'm just um, saying. Ronin, <laughs> what's up? Um, what's your idea on the Yak OP? The the what? The Yak yeah. 9P. 19. The Yak 9P, um, in historical, it's not too bad. In arcade, it's like the fucking pedo bear in school, basically. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it, you know, one thirty, oh. one 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 thirty-seven millimeter and two twenty-threes. Yeah, because you upgraded. Right hey guys, guys, if you're watching this, you're not gonna be happy with the 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 default one. You're gonna wanna go for the upgrade here, which gives you the thirty-seven millimeter cannon. That's what the the upgrade. Twenty-three is pretty good. You know, it's just like, hey, I'm playing arcade, and guess what? I can reload an air. Hey, hey, hey! Fuck I, I, lo I flew, I flew yesterday with pops here. I flew, um, I think it was yesterday. Whenever it was, I flew uh, the King Cobra, which I just bought. Um, the ten, the King Cobra, the ten, like the second one, um, for the first time. Uh, right. In historical battle, and holy shit, I was having a blast. I needed to hit one 37 millimeter shell, and they died. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> just saying, does, just saying, just saying. That's really good. But one thing I will say, um, Dick Cameron, whatever your name is, <laughs> I, he, goes, he goes, I disagree. The LA 7 in battles against Japs does not seem uber. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just saying um, that the problem Japs will have uh, against this one, uh, the LA-7, is that uh, they, they, they don't have the caliber to actually shoot it down. Um, well, no, they haven't got the... There, there's nothing in the, uh, the Japan tree that can climb as well as a fucking LA-7. Oh, I yeah. mean, for instance, the LA-7 turns as well as a zero, and then he's going, well, it'd be pretty good against a decent uh, Japan pilot. Well, okay, can a Japan pilot climb at 30 fucking degrees with fuck all logic? Can a Japan pilot turn as well as a zero? Well, yes, of course it can, because they have zeros. <gasps> Herbert Durr. Can the Japan pilot go to 630 in a fucking straight line? It's UFO, bro. 
There, yeah. I mean, if you go against an experienced LA7 pilot, and if you're in an N1K, or for instance a, a, a Kine, you're at a severe disadvantage. Why? Because he'll probably out. He, you know, he can turn just as well as you, and he re he has got a better energy retention than you. So in theory, he'll just. F so, with that, uh, the Japs got a, a a new tree, I think. Even right, they didn't even have the yeah. The, the, all the forty fives are new, right? Um, yeah. And uh, I just want to say that I called this. Uh, Pops knows it. He he and I talked yeah. about it. I actually called this. I said, way like a days ago, and I've not been on the dev server. So and I've not been looking at YouTube. And I, but I you know when someone told me or we read somewhere that oh yeah they're getting uh, like um, these uh, heavy fighters or fighter planes with uh, with these 37 millimeter cannons uh, at like you know at at, at, the, at the tier four five six seven here. Uh, I'm like what R really? But wait, wait. So, I mean, just looking at like the other planes here, are do, are you telling me, or I mean, are we expecting them to have what five, ten, maybe fifteen shells on these planes? You'll be like, oh yeah, good caliber. Oh shit, no ammo. And yeah, that exactly is what happened. Uh, they have uh, <laughs> they have no ammo for those. They, let's see here, tier five, they get sixteen. Tier six, they get fifteen. Tier seven, they st stay at fifteen. So yeah, uh, people thought the uh, Cobras on the U.S. side had little at twenty-eight and thirty-ish, uh, and we're like, oh, let go for that better plane which has sixty. But yeah, the Japs has uh, fifteen. <laughs> so return to base often in historical. Oh battle. yeah, and the Russian, the Russian keeping it. 37 because they get reload so fast. The Russians had, let's see, the 9P for example. Um, how many? They get 28. It has, they get 28 for the same caliber. Uh, the 9T though gets 30. So they still have the double at tier, at tier 8 there. Um, yeah. Any, any comments, Ronin? <laughs> Where we got them up? Sorry. Nah, more like uh, the fact that the Japs did get uh, 37 mm cannons, but they get only 15 bullets. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit hit and miss, and the other thing is you can't fire the 23 mm by itself. Um, yeah. The 37 mm and the 23 fire at exactly the same time. Oh yeah. Uh, so you can't really kind of uh, you know shoot them independently, which is. But then you do crap. have this. But then you do have the seven millimeter as a backup. <laughs> yes, let's get in front of people and switch to a rear gunner like a boss. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and oh yeah, it's also a rear gunner. I didn't even see that until you actually said. It. I'm like, oh yeah. But... <laughs> um, have you seen it? Like the two spike on the tier six one. Like just look in the hangar. Um, I, I'm gonna look at it in the hangar because we haven't done that. Oh, this is actually the hang- no, it wasn't the hangar, I was just having a very funny angle. I like how- You see, some those, you see those two cannon on the top? Uh, yeah, I wonder what those uh, are. Oh, yeah, what the fuck is that? Those are cannons. They, they were supposed to be firing, but they just were motto. Weren't motto in this game yet. Uh, what? Those thing on the top. Do you do okay, so maybe the pilot were like, hey, I want my plane to look like a, uh, a freaking cow or a bull. <coughs> I want to give it horns, right? I'm go I'm gonna look like a mad cow in the sky. I don't know. That looks funny. Funny, funny. Especially if they don't and, fire, actually. And the KI-45 look like um cho mint chocolate chip ice cream. The which one? Um, the tier six. They look like ice cream. They're like the mint one. The tier like six one was the one I just looked at. Yeah, it looked like ice cream though. Oh, I guess. Yeah, the camo is pretty funny. Or funky, I would say. Oh, well. That's awesome. <laughs> also, Carnex. I'm not German. <laughs> I, have, I, uh, I can't speak German. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> Even though I've got her in my name, which stands for Mr. in German, but I'm not German, bro. <laughs> so, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I wish I was German, actually. German accent's pretty... pretty. I'm all fucking Welsh? Oh I think, my god. 
That's an insult. I'm well, Irish. As, as, I, as I said the other day, aren't you all English? No, I'm not English. Because you're all from the islands, I can tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, we Irish, man. <laughs> but nah. Oh, that's funny. Um, oh, okay, that, that's the planes. Fucking. Um, oh, yeah, the new level 1 uh, premium planes, which you get for free Whoa. if you play one game of the country. Like, you get one plane. Exactly. I mean, you, for instance, you have a. You know, congratulations if you're new to the game. <laughs> you can basically, uh, you know, <clears throat> win one game within Russia and congratulations. You don't have to win, do you? Like, it's just the first game you play. Yeah, you just it? play. Yeah, you the just play a game play. with the with a nation and you get it. Oh my god. And uh, No, but you, seriously, you get... seriously. I think I mean, l listen to this. Okay, so this is my advice. If you're new to the game or you haven't registered yet, uh then you you uh, there's a link below which will give you more freaking gold by the way uh, if you click on that and register. It will also help support this channel. And then the first game you play with a selected nation you will get a free tier 1 premium plane. Uh, I mean, the only fancy thing about it, pretty much, will be that you'll get a little bit more, or actually quite a lot more for that level, um, experience and uh, silver lions made per game. Uh, and, yeah, so, you know, obviously, Select Nation wants to you want to play, and, you know, congratulations, you have a you know low tier premium plane that you can use to... to you know, accelerate your progress at the beginning. But if you uh, have, like, some people, like, focused on one, two, or maybe three nations, and maybe have, like, one or two nations or more that you have not gained any real uh, tier in or rank or level, uh, then, you know, if you're, uh, then just, you know, select that nation and play with. Uh, so you get that tier one premium plane because that then you know that can help you boost a few levels in that nation. So I, I think it's like it's a nice reward for some reason. I don't know why I think that, but I, obviously you know it's free, so it's a nice reward. Right, right, free, nice. Thank you. Yep. Ronan, don't want things for free. I don't mind it for free, man. I mean, like, it's just the Russian chaga. <laughs> yeah, well, Bloody. obviously, out of the... I mean, if we were to just compare the planes, the the Russian one is the best. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean... <laughs> it's just... shit. And the buffalo flies like a UFO, as people say. Sideways, yeah, exactly. upways, backways, across. Backways. <laughs> Up, tails. Up, upside. I saw like four buffalo like flew without tails just straight up today when I shot shot their tails off. <laughs> they just fly straight up. Which game was that though? Uh, I think it was in the Japanese 109, uh, the premium one, where for I, I was chasing this. One. I was so focused on the enemy, and I I I think someone told me like, oh, there's a guy on your tail, and I'm like, well, and I could notice he was firing bullets from behind me, and I was like, oh, you know, I just got up. I'm just gonna do my best to kill this plane. And at some point in in my battle, uh, or in me chasing this plane ahead of me, trying to kill him, uh, the guy behind me shot off my tail. I did not notice because the plane kept flying as I wanted it to. Until a bit later, where I was like, "Oh shit, I have no tail!" Like, <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was UFO for you, but uh, I mean, I was just flying straight, and it took a while for it to. You know, realize that oh, there's no tail there. Um, well, I mean, everything you fly in arcade is is that UFO. was historical battle though. Oh man, if, if you wait, if you got your arcade, you got the D13 right. Fly the D13 in arcade <laughs> after you've flown it in historical, and you'll be like, what the fuck? It turns <laughs> like dun, 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 like literally just left, left, right, left. left. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, ar uh, arcade is arcade is like the the ma like the first I want to say first person shooter version of this. Like the, it's just sci-fi. I mean, it is. Um, you, I mean, it, it looks cool. It's planes. They're flying. They do maneuvers. They don't break their wings in high speeds. Uh, things are good, but yeah, historical is the 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 real deal if you want. Like, hey, to feel screen, hardcore. Did they, did they not put clan in this patch? It comes in two days. 
Oh, right. We'll get there. Okay. Interface. What is this thing? Interface, interface, interface. The new interactive background hangar for your aircraft. Now all your planes are located right on the runway. And I've already heard Ronan say that he will miss the hangar. Oh, definitely. I mean, they should let you, like, choose between the hangar and the airfield. Because, I mean, personally, I like the hangar more than the fucking airfield. I mean, it looks like you're on an abandoned airfield. It's like Daisy, <laughs> for fuck's sake, you know? <laughs> It's Daisy. It's Daisy War Thunder, boys. You know, seriously, there's nothing going on. Like it's I abandoned. I expect to be a sniper shooting at me right now. Yeah, to fucking anyone in Cherno, you know, like <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyone in Cherno? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I I, I liked it. the the thing I liked wasn't per se the environment, but more the fact that it felt like I was actually standing next to the plane, and the plane looked huge. And I'm talking about whatever tiny plane I brought in there. I was like, oh my god, this plane looks so much bigger than it did before. Like mm. in the hangar, like the tiniest plane was like, oh, a little plane model, a little remote plane I can fly. But like, like, like the King Cobra Man, I was like, oh my god, this plane is big. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really <laughs> like crazy. that. Like I like the... I, I'll show you guys. I, I guess most of you, most of you watching have seen it already, though. I I, ju I just was impressed by. Let's see. Let's find the. Here's the yellow cobra. Bam! Like just this that view there is like, oh, oh, uh, dang! This is a big freaking plane, and I'm not sure how my stream with the tinier game window does it justice. But I mean, to me, this is like, oh, holy shit! This is huge, and I love it. Oh my god, have you put an 86k in the, on, on the runway yet? Which one? The uh, Japanese, the gigantic Oh, one. the gigantic Japanese, let's yeah. let's have some fun here. Uh, the, 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 where is it again? The J, J... Tier 3, the h But oh, that's not the biggest one though, there's a bigger one. But that's the yeah. low tier biggest one. <laughs> the low tier biggest one. <laughs> I like how it still says hangar though. The G5 is the bigger one though, it's not the G8. The oh man! At least in this view, you can actually view the whole freaking plane. You couldn't do that in the hangar. Here you can oh actually God, view the, the G5. whole thing. Do the G5 in the hangar. It's gonna touch the other side of the grass. Okay, let's see the G5. Here we go. The G5, man. Oh, it takes time to load, man. Holy shit! I don't know which which is longer. The the span of the wings or the plane itself? The wing Honestly. is oh god. <laughs> oh dear lord. Those engines look so tiny. <laughs> oh, wow. This plane looks so much smaller now than it did in the hangar. Yet it's huge. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, get a little bit perspective. Like So a Shinzen, yeah. Oh, here's the screenshot of the week, guys. Bam. Look at that beauty, eh? Mm. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you just big <bring> it. <laughs> Alright. It's like my... It's like your what? My penis. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm gonna get an adult rating for this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that little more. bird did it. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to bleep it out. Oh, the bro. I mean, I swear all over my. Yeah, me, YouTube me. Videos. I, I do too. I do too, man. It's, it's, it's I'm not, like <laughs> yeah. I would, I would like, I would take the time to find that and be like, beep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like with with me, with with my latest LA Seven gameplay, it's like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> you should do that once, though. You should go back and do like, hey, here's like the the special edition of this YouTube video. <laughs> I just bleeped out all the cursing. Uh, and, and it would be like, uh, this plane, beep, 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 pretty good, beep, 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 oh, you, beep, beep, beep. That would be hilarious. And actually, and then you miss to bleep out, like, beep, 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 penis, bleep, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> that, that least, dude, seriously, that would, yeah. that would be it. Guys, like, you should would... definitely subscribe to Ronan's YouTube channel. He He's one of my favorite YouTubers when it comes to uh, War Thunder, to be honest. Uh, at least the ones where he actually talks about what he does. Then he has the one where he just flies around talking to some other 
I don't know, less gay people. Idiot. <laughs> less gay people. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, I like the tutorial ones. Um, yeah. I also have a YouTube channel, which mostly just features highlights from the stream, though. It will feature, like, whole, this whole se session of uh, talking about this uh, patch. Um, the link is below. And fala. Okay, anyway. Uh, interface uh, added the display play of the cause of death to your aircraft. Okay, I haven't flown in the patch yet, so what does that mean? The cause of death? Like, um, you, you blew up. Like how your wing, your wing blew up, or your tail. Yeah. And, and that... then when you crash, it's just like a little small, a small, tiny white line of just crash when you crash on the All screen. Right. It's All like... Right. Yeah, because what I feel is hard to me at least, because I'm a bit slow, right? Is when I get killed by someone, the freaking battle log in the lower right it moves so fast. So by the time I actually look there to see who killed me, it's already gone. Oh yeah, and the battle log is colorful now. Yeah, well that yeah. doesn't help if it's colorful. If it still moves fit quite fast like freaking fuck, right? Because there's no, is there any way to actually scroll the battle log? I don't think so. Yeah, that's sucks. No. Oh, killed by name. They made that bigger? Oh, cool. They put it up front? Oh, nice. Yeah, they put it up front. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Totally. Uh, you haven't played yet? No. Uh, no. We're talking about the patch, man. <laughs> I got home from work, and I'm like, I'm going to make a session here where we discuss this, and I got Ronin on to be my expert. Because um, he has no life. Uh. He only plays. Scream, just look at that. Just look at that 260. Just sit in there. Click, click the link there. But it's just linked was... to your channel, though. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I was just, just testing the live stream. What? What? Oh, what? Oh, you're, you're streaming right now? Oh. No. <laughs> I was going to. Well, I'm going to later. So, we're playing an advertisement on the stream, which we're not getting paid for. <laughs> Bro, is that. <laughs> just want to say, we're sure not. Movie. Ron, is that movie or just Ultra? That is Ultra. Um, it's my yeah. baby. Looks pretty good, man. Looks pretty good. But, Got lighting, uh, though. Huh? Got lighting. Everything is so pink. The it is. Oh, uh, we'll get to that later though in the graphic settings, cause I, cause I even had I kept questions about that. I was like, I don't know what this new slider does, and I read about it, but I still don't fucking understand it. But anyway, um, that's pretty cool. All right, let's get back to. I should have followed you. I forgot to. I will do that the next time. Um, the save username and password. Blah blah. Okay, yeah. Now I don't have to type the username, but apparently the pa saving the password is still unsecure. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Um, I don't know why that is. Added three new variants of the login window, background, and loading. I still only get one, though. Uh, slightly redesigned color scheme of in-game blah blah. Complete redesign of debriefing panel. Reworked pilot card. What did they rework on the pilot card? Because I didn't really see that much of a difference. Do you guys know? Um, it's darker. It's like there's a red, um, there's a red trail uh, on the top. That's it. So I go into game, I look at my profile, and it's like, yeah, it has a yeah. red hint up here. Oh, so, so that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. They reworked it totally. Um, Alright, alright, alright. I can live with that. Uh, doesn't add too much. Uh, completely changed the tab, achievements, and awards. Yeah, they did look different. Uh, the decal application interface has been redesigned to be more user-friendly. Have you have you guys tried the new decal system? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, but they they block off some decal for some country. Like if you're on German, you can't put the stars on anymore. <laughs> Wait, I I don't think I've done that. Um, but you can okay. put on the Swedish stuff on any country. The I can't do that. Symbol. Yeah, you can still do that. They don't block off everything, but oh, that's still the black box on your screen. So screen. Oh, oh fuck! Sorry, man. Sorry, man. Bam. All right. Uh, so let's look at one of my paint jobs then. But I still have that though. Or can, or or are you saying I can't add that little? You can't put that on there. Like you can't put like an iconic, but you can put like the 
like the you one can, I did, like the the sh like the axis shield. Yeah, like, you can you can still have that. You just can't put on like the cross and stuff. I think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I was like, oh. I was happy about that little thing that I made. Mm, my favorite plane. Go. I'll be back in three, two hours. Oh, it's no problem. See you, mate. Uh, right. take care. Okay, so that's cool. All right, what else do we have that's worth t mentioning? Um. Uh, well, I didn't look at the decal system, but uh, oh shit, I should probably look at it real quick though. <laughs> they can't put. I can't put my own like kill mark, so I can't kill another Americans on here anymore. Like I used to count American kills, now I can't do that anymore. That's sad. Anger. Okay, so I clicked the decal, and oh, this is pretty in in you. But it's like oh, you can't really browse the categories. You just gotta like scroll the whole shit now though. But you pretty, I'm pretty sure you already know what all this stuff is. Like you can, yeah, 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 at, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, well, it does. It, the list isn't that long that it's a pain in the ass though. But, and it's cool that you can. S I mean, it is a more intuitive way, I guess. Alright, this looks cool. Um. So that's why they released the patch today. It's Russia Day. Uh, it's not really Russia Day yet, because it starts in like tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Mm. All right. Cool. Um. Okay. Let's go on. Bam. All right. Uh. Do do do. Decal. Game options menu. Added community with the settings for Facebook and Twitch. And they force you to do the Facebook thing. Uh, they don't force you, but they pay you. So. Twitch TV. Hmm. More more streamers, less viewers. You can live stream now. You can live stream. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I have already looked at it, and I I tried to tell people how to set it up like I mean I j not how to just be like okay don't do the highest resolution do the next highest one uh, unless you have 10 megabit upload fiber optic connection also if you do the 721 put the quality on like half and then look like does it look good does it flow because if you do the highest quality there even on the 720 uh, a lot of viewers even I mean and maybe even your connection might not be on par because it demands quite a lot. Um, so yeah. Uh, no, Cameron. The server gives does not give rewards in two hours. Um, according to the time they post on the website, it is quite the uh, quite more time. They said 6 a.m. June 12th, GMT. That is in. Seven hours, seven and a half, actually. Oh, I can't wait to hear Origin rage about this on the Russian. I can't or, wait. Origin? What? About what? I can't wait for him to rage all like. How how is like German just die out in historical? No, oh, they, like, they uh, will if the LA sevens. Oh my God, German's gonna be crap. My baby is saying. At least, at least, at least, at least, you know, now people don't cry when they face Germans. <laughs> right. I don't know why, but I one shot it, like not pilot shot, an LA7 today in a buffalo. And I'm like, what? Machine gun do damage? What? Okay, so, well, maybe, maybe the times uh, bonus experience, Cameron, but I don't think so, because it says 6am 6, 6 GMT, June 12th. Alright, change the color of the text, blah, blah, blah. Okay, graphics, graphics, let's see if we have anything cool here. Here's a question soon to be had. Change the calculation of shadows, increase the effective resolution, increase their. Effective resolution. Okay. Added effect. Have someone tried lens flare yet? I did not turn it on yet. Ronin? Someone? <laughs> yeah, your lens flare? It's just lens flare. Yeah, have you tried it though? Have you had it on and go into game and been like, oh my god, this lens flare is so OP? So OP. It's like a flash. Why can't I put a flash like from Battlefield 3 on here? Just kill everybody. <laughs> no, but honestly, it's like, do, do you feel the lens flare adds anything that's... Not really. Like, I, I, because I expect, it, I expect it to just be in the way. Um, it, will add, yeah. it will add to the experience because it will look shiny, but I, I expect it to just be in the way of, you know, playing. Have you had that um, effect on where you drive behind a... There's a plane that doesn't have a fuel leak and you get fuel on your... um. On your wind windshield? No. Be in pilot mode. This is this a setting. This is like an effect for that. Wow. 
I need to, I need to do that. Can we try that? Can can you leak fuel on me in the game, please? <laughs> I don't know, but I saw it on somebody else's live stream once. Like, what? What are you doing? Why is there black stuff on your windshield? <laughs> cool. All right. <clears throat> so now 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 here is my question. The added effect of SSAO, which I think is the secret police or something, approximate global illumination simulation technology. Definitely the secret oh. police for quality settings. I have no fucking idea what this does. This is a three-step slider. You have lowest, which is having it, it's the same as having it off, the middle, and the highest. I put mine to the middle, but I have no clue what it does. <laughs> Google it. Ah, oh, I'm too lazy, man. I was hoping someone I mean, would explain it. Google it something. Somebody not lazy, Google something. Ronin, did you fall asleep? He's probably talking oh, to me. Oh, there. I know he's here, but he's not here. <laughs> or he's there, he's but no not here. He's no longer with us. Mm, improved support S for S 3 Division. The SS, yeah. Oh, crap. Improved lighting model for aircraft. Hmm. Uh, improved game performance in all the higher settings except for ATI cards, because they suck with old drivers and ATI graphic cards to 4800 series. Um, uh, change calculation and rendering of clouds. Clouds now intersect with the terrain without visual art artifacts. That's cool. Uh, fixed animation of tail hook. I like how they say hook twice here. Fixed animation of tail hook hook on the F4U. Fixed display of stats, which is stats, I think, on some aircrafts. So they actually show the stats that they have in game, which they, some didn't. Uh, fixed display of torpedoes in the hangar. Uh, sound, new voices, and shit. Game, added air raid siren. Me. Added oh, yeah, cockpit. <laughs> added, uh, they added. I'm not sure if they added sluts or stats. That's the problem with that misspelling there. But. Yeah. Anyway, it, you know, one of them are cooler than the other. Uh, added cockpit for dive bomber. Cool. What? Well, dive bomber PE21. You say added cock for dive bomber. You didn't say the pit part. No, I did say cockpit. It's your internet fucking you. Uh, <laughs> fixed behavior of the AI bombers on missions. Fixed inability to complete the mission. Blah, blah, blah. This is so boring shit. Fixed wandering planes on moving aircraft carriers. Uh, added modification for the... Blah. Well, Splinter Proof West sounds cool. Uh, added additional fuel filling, blah blah blah, on the ground. Improved behavior of bombs, rockets, and torpedoes in the air! They now behave more realistically, because the torpedoes in the air did not behave realistically before. But now the bombs and rockets and torpedoes does. Uh, more realistically. Fixed a bug that caused the random movement of a torpedo after launch. Okay. Configured tension of arrestor wires on aircraft carriers. The hooking has become more realistic. I've still not yet to do that though. Um... <laughs> Fixed incorrect bomb bounds when using delayed detonation on some of the bridges. Uh... Commence the hooking. Oh, here's some interesting stuff though. Rank Yak 3 was lowered from 11 to 10. LA 7 downgraded from 14th to 12th. Uh, LA 5 FN lowered from 11th to 9th. I'm thinking about buying the premium one in the German tree. It's so expensive though, so it's not gonna happen anytime soon, I think. Uh, KI 49. ILB raised from 7th to 8th, KI-49 ILB late, increased on 7th to 9th. Um, added Mount Able suspension modification kits for weapons, blah blah blah, these planes that you can see there. Ability to mount through modification. There's been more mo modifications and stuff, I think, right? And like, the r correct guns here and something. Uh, added bomb load. Added bomb load for DO, the Donier 217N1. Eight bombs of, I don't know, SC50. Right. For IL-10, added bomb load of two 250 Kalo bombs. Fabulous 250. I don't know what FAB stands for, but it sounds fabulous. For the Jack 9 p added mountable modification motor gun. So you can put on the, like, 
better, bigger, better guns, cannons. <sighs> Anything um, here, actually? Well, nothing. I just thought I saw something that wasn't in there. Oh, oh, oh. for aircraft armed with sh how do you say this? Shvak and Hispano guns added options for racks with an increased number of tracers every second and every third, respectively. Okay. The bidi bidi bamboo. I don't even know that. Yeah, we get into the flight models. I think this this whole list is like super humongously boring. Uh, they they fix a lot of shit, guys. You can watch this on the website. And they replaced the cannon on the MiG nine, MiG fifteen, and S thirty seven. No oh, wait, no. <laughs> ah, on the MiG-9, MiG-15, NS, they, they just don't know how to, NS-37 cannon replaced by N-37D. I have not informed by the difference there, but... Changes, changes in damage model. Reworked dynamic damage model of aircraft. Well, thank you, I don't, okay. And reworked damage system liquid air cooling, blah blah, there's just... Uh... Is Ronin back? <laughs> Just testing. No, he's not. Alright. Um, Flight model. Now here we go. Here's the cool things. This is what we want to see and talk about. Ronin! You better get back. Ronin! <laughs> Ronin! Alright. Uh, come on, wakey wakey. I'm gonna, like... I have no idea what all these words mean. Oh my god. There's so oh, much shit, right. man. Yeah, yeah. You do know what they mean? I think it's back again. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back to the stream. Here we go. Alright. So, the flight model is how the plane behaves in the game, right? And uh, you have the same flight model all through and through. It's just that you get a lot of freaking unrealistic help in arcade, meanwhile the plane behaves more realistically in historical battle, yet it is full-on hardcore simulation as to fly the plane in real life if you go to full real battle. So, yeah, historical battle is where it's at, <laughs> in my opinion. But I'll get a joystick eventually and try out full real battle. Um, German changes, BF-109 series, E3, F4, G6, G10 and K4. Moment of inertia changed. Spin and loss characteristics changed. Wing profile recalculated. Lift and drag corrected. Due core, due core code changed. Uh, with this update, the 109s. Okay, this is more. With this update, the 109s feeling a bit less sluggish, more stability overall. And from what I hear, it should be less wobbling if you go high altitude. Yes. And Ronin just came back for that. Cool. Have you tried this yet? I have. Um, basically, one thing that did annoy me regarding the BF 109s was, like you said, when you're high altitude, if you pull a very hard turn, you like start to flex and you start to wobble. Your whole plane will start to fucking just go like a retard. And um, basically, they fixed that. And it's more stable in dives and it's more stable when you're turning as well. But the climb rate of the BF 9 F4 has been nerfed. It doesn't climb as well as it used to. But so. that's something you can live with. Um, to a point. Okay. <laughs> to a point. To a point where you face a LA7. LA7, yeah. And you're like, motherfucker. Piece oh. of shit. Uh, uh, the E3 turned to have this performance. Max speed. Okay, so there, there they go. There they give the exact specs. Not that interesting. Uh, what, what uh, to a noob like me, moment of inertia, because I'm not English speaking. What the hell is that even? Inertia. 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 inertia? Right. Inertia oh, is like basic. How much energy that's... you base on your movement after your stop it, putting a force on it? It's basically agility. Theoretically, that's what it is. It's agility inertia. Oh, okay. It's how how well it moves around and and how easy it moves. Okay. Like, for instance, if you say someone has very good inertia, they're like, you know, very flexible. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. 
<laughs> how well it will zoom. Alright, cool. Uh, and the uh, Rufal Seal inertia is how much a body wants to change its speed. And they, that P47 is supposed to have good inertia. Ha! Says Ronin. Alright. <laughs> uh, Russian flight model changes is MiG-3. Uh, yeah. They, they changed that. They didn't tell exactly. They just show what, they, what the new stats is. Um, British FM changes. Spitfire series. Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark uh, 5V, Mark 5C. Spitfire Mark 9, Spitfire Mark, holy shit, what the hell is that? 10, 16, I think. Uh, moment of inertia changed, spin and loss characteristics changed, wing profile recalculated, lift and drag corrected, due core code changes. Uh, have you tried this out yet? What's that? The Spitfire series. Um, I haven't Apparently. tried them, but apparently they're, I've been very been buffed, like they climb very, very well. So the climb rate has been corrected and uh, fixed, which is very, very good. Because the Spitfire is just to climb like just poop. So mm. now they climb pretty nicely. Cool. Um, cool. Looking forward to flying my Spitfire. Tempest as well, and Typhoon as well has been tuned. Do you guys know, like, has the Tempest and Typhoon been also improved them? Um. The Tempest is still crap, but that Typhoon is awesome still. What happened with the Typhoon though? Did like wh what exactly? The Typhoon. They didn't change anything about the Typhoon. It's just still awesome. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Japanese zero trimmed out, zero trimmed out at mill speed and lift and drag corrected due, due core code changes. Uh, so what happened with the zeros? I don't get it. Trimmed out at mill speed. What am I reading here? Trim. That's joystick. Um, it says zero trimmed out at mill speed. Yeah, that's just joystick trim. It's like rudder, tr rudder. It's rudder trim, isn't it? Oh, I have no fucking idea, man. But mm. here's something interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, one K. Awesome. Did they change what the one K, dude? Okay. The what? What? The what now? What did the they change about the N one K? Uh, N1K2J and N1K2JA. Uh, ja, ja. Uh, tuned to have. Uh, I mean, they're just showing. I, I, I can't really tell myself here because I don't have to. Can compare them to previous. Um, but Carnex says the N1K is damn good now. Alright. American FM changes. This is something I'm looking forward to read. Uh, most of US planes have been made much better. All should be better trimmed and made more historical accurate. That sounds good. Flaps adjustments. Vroom. A lot of series here. P47 and P38. Uh, aerodynamic adjustments. Uh, P47 and P39. Okay, P47 at least. Um... Complete renovations. I mean, they claim to have done a re renovation of the P thirty eight, but you say the no. They they are way faster and they tr um they roll better now. But Ronin said they are still shed and brick. Um, what was this? The P thirty eight series. They P38. say they have done a complete oh. renovation on them though. They're, <laughs> they improve, they, they improve, okay, they've improved them, but they're they still not. They improve shit into a better power of shit. Yeah, but it's still shit nonetheless. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you know. The damage like, model on them, like, did they still catch fire on one bullet? No, no it's it, just, they just suck at turning. And not they turning, do. just fly. It suck at flying. Oh. It's, it, it's, a, it's a step in the in the right direction. That's the main thing. But it's still shit, you know. <laughs> yeah, but at least your they're, yeah, your they're shit slowly... evolve into a better shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, oh, that's goodness. Uh, uh, and that's pretty much the whole freaking thing. Awesome. That is the whole patch notes. We've somehow gone through more or less to a certain degree. Um. Yeah, I I'm looking forward to the squadrons. Um, 
to be very, 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 very honest. That's what I'm looking forward to the most, and it was a little bit sad that they postponed that for two days. <sighs> but, yeah, that means there's... I'm gonna have to, like, freaking visit the toilet to get rid of all the energy drink I just drank, and then riffle my glass with something else to drink. Um, and then I'm gonna get into the game and play, and I, I'm definitely... I'm gonna do historical with all the fucking planes. Well, I can't afford all the freaking planes, but you can help me afford them if you put some money in the tip jar. Way, this is me begging. Don't care about it. Um, but uh, no, definitely uh, gonna. Um, I don't know which plane. I want both the new American premium ones, and I think I'll just go for those two because that's what I still have gold for. Yeah, I mean, okay, if you're going to be uh, going to games, then I'm going to start streaming and uh, do some Jet games. You're going to do Jet games? Jet. Jet games. Oh, cool. Jet. Do you, I do can you join you here in a few minutes. Do you stream... Uh, you're going to join who, Wolf? <laughs> oh, Wolfie. The guy who fucking ejects out of his plane when I'm behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you did not, you, mate. You shouldn't have been on the same team, team TS3 when you did that. I was fucking raging. I was like, "What a cock! What a cock! Why is he doing this? Is he trolling me, fucker?" <laughs> but I did. If I ever see you in my game, I'll eject. I don't eject anymore. <laughs> I'd take it. You're you like, oh, the it's the I got. I don't care anymore. You're like, oh, it's Ronan eject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll, like I'll eject fucker. I'll eject on the on this airstrip. I won't even take off. I'll just eject. <laughs> so, so annoying. <laughs> oh man! But I actually always I I actually don't even look. I like I take off and then meanwhile, climbing or whatever. That's when I look at what I'm facing. <laughs> so you know that's when I'm like, oh shit! Uh, actually. One game that I streamed, uh, I, I just didn't cut it out, but it was pretty funny because, you know, got into the game, started fighting, you know, hit some planes, like, got out of the way, started climbing, and I'm like, oh, there's a black dot right there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I wonder, like, I, I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to keep climbing this way, and hopefully eventually I'll see what what this is. And as soon as, you know, my my keen vision kicks in and I can see, it's like... Uh, MiG-9. And I'm like, oh man, fuck, <laughs> really? <laughs> and that, that, you know, uh, I was like, why did I not see this before? I'm not the one to quit a game ever if I see jets, though. I'm actually one Dude, of those. The MiG-9, like, those look exactly like the Yak, so like, you can't tell it's a jet. Uh, can't you? I'm pretty sure you can, because they, they are still golden. Like, it's very hard to tell. I I make nine from other planes. Yeah, well, I don't know. I no one had. Oh, I I, th I, th I think no one. I I didn't. For some reason, I never saw someone mention it in chat. I I don't think anyone realized. For some reason, like and for the first time ever, I didn't even look at the stats before I actually engaged in battle. I just never thought about looking. And again, I'm not the one to look to be like, oh no, jets, I'll quit. It's more like looking to have a clue if they are all fighters or 50% bombers or just get a clue what the freaking hell I'm up against. Uh, but it was just like, MiG-9! And I was playing with two or three others in a squad and they were like, what? What? <laughs> like, no one had looked. So it was just such a cool surprise. And just the moment when it happened, uh, it was just hilarious. I just thought it was funny. Like, I, I again, I, I don't get mad about it. I, I'm just like, Oh man, and just the way I found out was like, MiG-9, holy shit, um, turn around, get some kill before I die. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty wow. much, that's pretty much what I did. Uh, but actually, no, actually, I remember now, the game ended this way though, we actually won, uh, with us defeating most, this MiG-9 player being really crappy at killing anything, because he dived at us several times, but he didn't kill us, and, uh, pretty much we were four planes left, and he were alone, and he had returned to base to land and reload, and we pretty much in chat like, dude, uh, it's four versus one, you might just as well quit, and he did. <laughs> you know, we're like, well, you don't want that repair bill. <laughs> so he just quit, and we won, and we're like, yes, we didn't have to fight him. <laughs> but he sucked, though, because oh, yeah. he, he definitely had a hard time, like, he got one kill or something, he just didn't do well with that plane when he should have been doing better. Definitely, no. definitely. But anyway, uh, 
So, yeah, I'm gonna be like... Switching to... Oh, yeah, get rid of this one. There we go. Uh, getting in-game and stuff, uh, and playing. And uh, anyone who wants to squad up can squad up. You can join us in raid call down below. Uh, I, I know Ronin is gonna take off and fly some jets. Uh, so thank you for at least being a guest on my stream again. Yeah, no worries, man. It's, a, it's always a good laugh. Love ha <laughs> would scream. Yeah! Love having you here, because... Yeah. You are one of those that I definitely listen to. I think you're experienced in this game and uh, have good opinions. Oh, don't say that. I might think I'm actually correct for once. Yeah, well, I know a lot of people don't agree with you, but who gives a shit? Oh, God, yeah. 